Hi everyone, I want to continue exploring uh, to do MVC with GraphQL and how to test it from Cypress. When we run this simple test, what you can see on your left where we visit the site and add a new to-do, the application is making multiple fetch requests. These are all GraphQL requests that we uh, use from the application. I believe that the first request is fetching all to-dos, then another request is adding the new to-dos to do, and then the last one is refetching the list of to-dos. We have to refetch the update list. I believe we can see this if we look at the network tab again and if we rerun the application. So we have these three requests. The first one, if we look at the headers, is querying all to-dos. The second one is a mutation, add to-do. And the third one is a query all to-dos again. So let's say we want to confirm that this three requests actually happen. How do we do it? Well, we can intercept post to slash, all right? And this will just spy on network requests. Now notice that they don't have an LS. We have no way of actually confirming that this is particular type of GraphQL request. Is it all to those or a mutation add to them? So what we have to do is give another argument and in this case it could be a function so here where we can say um actually let's just log it console log and maybe body okay so let's look at the console so free request free objects operation name all to those operation add to the and operation all to do again so here's what we can do when we have a request we can assign this request an alias from the callback function. And here we can say body operation name because each GraphQL request in our case has operation and property inside the body of the request. So let's save this. Okay. Now let's see if after the visit we can wait for all to do. Right. This is our first request. Now notice. Even though it says that there is no alias, it actually has an alias. Cypress just doesn't update the command log UI. But this is why we waited for it, right? Uh, after we adding new to do, we can wait for add to do request and then all to do's again. Perfect. So in this case, not only we can spy on the network request by using an alias to confirm that this happened, we can confirm that this object from the application to the GraphQL endpoint has the expected data. So this is the intercept request body has operation name add to those and variables. And the only variable we're sending is the title. So in this case, once we wait it, we can say it request body variables right, should equal title learn Cypress. Okay, perfect. So the application is sending learn Cypress correctly. And let's look at the response, right? Um, again, we will take this alias and because we already waited, we don't have to wait again. In fact, there's no second request that will happen. So we'll say, so in this response, body let's just grab it right so we can see what it tells us so i'm going to go to its command i'm going to click and uh this is request i'll comment response to this one so this is what the server responds with response with data create to do an id so why don't we say response data right create to do and this is an object so we'll say it should have property ID, okay. just to confirm that the server returns an ID. And the cool thing about this, the assertion reflects the ID of a new object that you just created. So it's nicely reflected in the video. So this is how you can dynamically add an alias to the request. So then you can confirm the GraphQL requests and responses. In the next video, I'll show how to make this even simpler.